we're Chris and Kel. We bought an old sailboat a while back, and for the last few years, we've been rebuilding it in our driveway, with the goal of becoming a seaworthy vessel. Well, we did it, and we are both still alive. We finally left our driveway and splashed into the Columbia River. What's next for us? You'll just have to find out. Sew this up, huh? Yeah, let's see if we can make it. Previously on Sailing Adrift, you met our dinghy, affectionately named Floater. Why is it named that? I don't know why I didn't decide on that name. Who decided on the name? Some boys. This week, we get to unveil our big boy's name. Yes, it's a boy. Chris and I are highly progressive parents. Last week, we touched on our boat's backstory. We kept it pretty brief because we don't know all the details, but we definitely know there was some drama. True story, this boat had two previous owners and both of them died mid-restoration, which is largely why this vessel has been dry docked for over 15 years. We had a comment come through from one of our subs, Eric. He said, change the name, change the luck. Wasn't really why we're changing the name and I hadn't thought about that concept until he said it, but all the more reason to do it. Okay, so let's talk about why we're doing this. Why do people do this? Basically, the god of the sea, the Greek god known as Poseidon, has a ledger of ships and it really throws him off when that ledger is altered or when there's a name change to a vessel. So, we have to be really careful about destroying all the evidence of the old name and making a big fuss of the new name so we can keep him happy and organized. Because if he gets confused and pissed off, that really isn't going to do us any favors. Now, there are many different versions of this ceremony, but they all contain the same basic steps. First, you have to summon the gods, Neptune and Poseidon, by inviting them to your ceremony. A simple call from the bow will do. Then you have to acknowledge the original name and any previous names to pay tribute to the gods in the form of a toast. To the life of the boat, under that name, and thanks to the gods for protection previous to this day. Now, prior to this, you must erase all evidence of the previous name. The big ticket item is obviously any decals or labeling on the exterior. In our case, we always had the intention of renaming the boat, so that was one of the first things we did was take off the name. Okay, what's next? This is the part where you provide an offering of red wine to symbolize virgin blood. It is important to pour this from east to west off the bow. Then the actual rededication part happens. This is the exciting part where you get to smash the bottle. It's a very bad omen if the bottle doesn't break. So it's mission critical to channel your inner Hulk when you do this. For this event, we invited some close family and friends to come out to the boat and see what we've been working on for the last three years. This was a really epic day for us. We are absolutely blessed to have so much support in our lives. It was a perfect day. She wants to take a tour. I do. Some couldn't make it, so we launched a Zoom meeting and I walked around the boat for about 20 minutes hosting Zoom tours. She is Zooming, yes. Kelly is Zooming all over the boat. We had to keep the name undercover until the ceremony was over. Do you know the name of the boat yet? Yeah? I do. You do? We do. Oh, we're trying to guess. I can tell you what it is, but I won't. Good, because that would be seriously messed up. Whew. Okay, we're about to get started. Time to pass out our sailor's grog for the toast. Recipe in the description below. Everybody moves to the front of the boat. Here we are on the front of the boat. Would you like to join me on our boat, Kelly? <laughs> Welcome everyone, thanks for coming. I'm glad you're all here. We are uh, rededicating this vessel to the sea. It is considered extremely bad luck to change the name of a boat. Oh. But we're doing it anyway. So we're following some uh, protocol to try to mitigate that uh, bad juju. Um, so we need to offer up some red wine. This is not red wine. 
This is Cold Duck, a sweet sparkling red, because we assume the gods would enjoy some bubbles. And it's red like blood. From east to west, to Poseidon and uh, Neptune, thank you. Raise your glass as a toast to uh, Thea, the this former name of the boat. The this yeah. To Thea. Yeah. 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 We're going to rechristen this boat. Well, Kelly's going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. All right, I would just you got it, Kelly. right there. Yes. Is it bad luck if it doesn't break the first time? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> no pressure. It's Life so and death. Okay. It's, it's in a bag. Oh, my so. God. Beat it. No, 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 no. no. Top, uh, hit it like on top, okay, like a hammer. Ready? Yeah. Don't mess it up, Kelly. It. Don't back it hard. Shall we go to the back and, and see? Yeah. To the back? Yeah. To the back. Okay. Before we reveal the name, well, we'll raise our glasses one more time to the vessel to hope it carries us safely and doesn't sink in the middle of the ocean because yes. of operator error. Yes. Um, for any reason. And yeah, for any reason really at all. Here we go. Here, here. Drum roll, please. Oh, ah! Nowhere, USA, which is an actual town in Oklahoma where we registered. Oh, nice. Nowhere. <laughs> it's cool because you can also look at it this way. Now here. Now here. Now here. Uh, there it is. Yeah. Well, that's it. It's official. And hopefully the gods have been appeased. Special shout out to our patron crew. Some of you were able to be there with us on Zoom and it was really cool to be able to share that moment with you. You know that this journey and these videos wouldn't be possible without you. So thank you very much. Hey Chris, guess what? Whoa, what? We got a new patron. <laughs> we did? Yes. Who? Ernie. Oh, Ernie. Thanks for joining the crew. Oh, I seem to have made a little mess here. Yeah. I get excited. I'm happy to have you. Hey you, thanks for watching. If you like what you see and you want to keep following along, become a subscriber. Just hit that subscribe button below. And special thanks to our patron crew. We really appreciate your support. We can't see the name of your boat in the front, buddy. Aren't you a We're going to end up back here. <laughs> he's he's a seaman. <laughs> Some cultures actually use urine for this thing. I don't know if they like bottle it and, and pour it out or they go directly from the source. We could still do that, just extra insurance, right? How did she get glass out of the bag? The bag didn't break. I know, but she was scared not to break it. She didn't break.